parents have been holding their breath, not because they're swimming underwater with these fish, but waiting for me to tell them what to do for their young children who seem to be having what we call breath holding spells, especially when kids get angry. Well, I don't want anyone to get blue in the face, including this blue fish, over this topic, so let me provide some information. Breath holding is a fairly common behavior in most toddlers, and about 5% of healthy breath holding toddlers will get so upset they exhale forcefully and then decide not to breathe to the point they may turn blue or pale and literally fall to the ground limp, sometimes with shaking of the arms and legs, which is what we call an official breath holding spell. Though these are extremely scary to watch, they resolve spontaneously and within 30 to 60 seconds, a child will catch her breath and begin to cry. They're usually an involuntary response to strong emotions like being angry or frustrated and only rarely have they been associated with a seizure disorder or a heart problem. Breath holding spells are rare before six months of age, peak at the age of two and then disappear by age five. If your child does have a breath holding spell, lay your child flat on the floor to increase blood flow to the brain and if they start to throw up as they regain consciousness, roll them over onto their side so they don't start choking on what's coming up. After recovering, which is usually within seconds, it's good to speak with your child's health care professional to make sure that your child has had a typical breath holding spell as opposed to their having a more serious problem involving your child's brain or heart. Sometimes being anemic due to low iron stores can contribute to this problem. The most important thing a parent can do if your child has these spells is figure out what provokes them and avoid that stimulus or at least try to distract your child by calling them over to look at something interesting. Once you know it is a breath holding spell and that the outcome is going to be fine, you should stay relaxed, give your child a hug when it's over, and go about your business. If you're frightened, don't let your child know it or she or he will do this even more and more frequently when they begin to get upset to get their way or simply to seek your attention. Hopefully, tips like this will allow you to breathe more easily the next time your child has a breath holding spell. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.